Now again for this question, I'll need to solve the inequality. So what I'll do is I'll write it as log x to the base 5. And now this is log m by n, which is log m minus log n. So I can write log x to the base x minus log 3 to the base x. And this is log x base 5 and minus 2 log x base 3 and this is log x base 3. Now log x base x is 1. Now what I'll do is I'll let log x base 5 as a and I'll let log x base 3 as b. So I'll write it as this is a plus 1 and then minus. Now log 3 base x is 1 upon log x base 3. So this is 1 upon b and this is a 2 minus b upon b. So I'll take everything on the left hand side. So I'll write a b plus b minus 1 upon b and minus a 2 minus b upon b and it should be greater than 0. So I'll write it as twice a b minus 2 a plus b minus 1 upon b and it should be greater than 0. So if I take 2a common so I can factorize it as 2a plus 1 b minus 1 and b and it should be greater than 0. So again if I put the value of a and b I can write it as 2 times log x to the base 5 plus 1 and this is log x to the base 3 minus 1 upon log x to the base 3 and it should be greater than 0. Now if we look at the domain also, so domain in this case will be x should be greater than 0 and x should not be equal to 1. So now I'll find critical points. So from this one I'll get log x base 5 equals minus 1 by 2 x is 5 to the power minus 1 by 2 so which is 1 upon under root 5 now from this log x base 3 is equal to 1 so I'll get x as 3 and from the denominator I'll write log x base 3 is equal to 0 I'll get x is equal to 1 so there are three critical points so which is 1 by under root 5 1 and then 3 now the sign of the rightmost is plus so this is plus minus plus and minus i need plus so which is x should lie between 1 upon root 5 to 1 or x is greater than 3 so x belongs to 1 upon under root 5 to 1 union 3 to infinite. So that is the answer to this inequality.